Hello and welcome to Vendop News, where I cover the weekly happenings in the supply chain and procurement market. My name is Jay Bartels, and let's just dive right in. Our first article today takes a look at the top 10 trends for supply chain in 2021. The first half of 2019 saw companies spend $869 million on over 16,000 robots. That puts robotic automation in the number 10 spot. And with more drones and driverless vehicles hitting the skies and streets, the spend in this segment is sure to increase. The number nine trend is the Internet of Things, or IoT. Sensors are being put on everything from vehicles to warehouse equipment to provide real-time data. This increases visibility, improves inventory management, and helps predict maintenance needs. Number eight on the list is something we keep hearing more and more about, blockchain. Visibility remains a top concern and blockchain delivers unparalleled transparency. Number seven is transparency itself, a word we have heard more and more as the year goes on. The impact of modern businesses on society and environment has consumers concerned. To address this, companies need to be completely transparent from source to shelf. The next trend coming in at number six is elastic logistics. Organizations need to be able to easily expand or shrink their logistics to match demand. The number five trend involves um, or re revolves around short product life cycles. Increased personalization and next day delivery are becoming the norm. To accommodate this reality, supply chains must evolve to become faster and more efficient. The number four trend is supply chain as a service, or SCAAS models. This is a way for supply chains to outsource their manufacturing logistics or inventory management. The number three trend involves the workforce. The demand for more knowledgeable workers in core fields is increasing. Analytics, procurement, processing, provision of services, logistics, Warehousing and transportation are all fields with increasing employment opportunities. In order to fill this demand, 80% of companies already have multi-country operations. The number two trend to watch for is the increase in circular supply chains. The circular model is on its way to replace traditional linear models already in place. With reduced long-term costs, reduced waste, and reduced impact on the environment, this trend is sure to continue long into the future. And the number one trend in supply chains for 2021, sustainability. Companies are looking to advance their energy management to lower their carbon footprint. These green logistics are great for the environment, lead to greater customer loyalty, and ultimately higher profits. 60% of customers are happy to pay a premium for sustainable products. Our next article covers a few of the sudden surges in demand brought about by the pandemic. One that is rarely covered is the increase in demand for pet food. After the toilet paper pan panic calmed down, people adopted new pets at astounding rates. Many shelters across the U.S. even reported an absence of animals for adoption in the spring and early summer. This created a huge increase in demand for pet food and related products. One pet product supply company, Global Trans, saw a 300% increase in freight volumes. Another surge not often discussed was the sudden need for truckloads of butter. Normal upticks in the fall and, and winter are expected as the holidays approach and home baking increases. But this year, there was a sudden surge much earlier and suppliers just weren't ready. Where a retailer may place a normal order for three truckloads of butter a week, COVID had them ordering 10 or 12 truckloads to keep up with demand. This affects supply chains on every level, from manufacturing to shipping to logistics. This has led many retailers to overstock in order to avoid in-store shortages. And according to a recent McKinsey survey, 73% of consumers expect to continue their COVID area buying habits, 
for the rest of the year and into 2021. Our final article today takes a look at the growing use of artificial intelligence in supply chains. According to an MH Industry Annual Report, AI and machine learning adoption in supply chains is only at around 12% today. But in the next five years, the curve is expected to rise to 60%. And while AI might bring to mind you know, robots doing everyone's jobs, and reality, the reality of this is much different. Supply chains still need planners and human involvement. But the changing landscape may mean that we need a different type of supply chain planner. Supply chains everywhere are undergoing digital transformations. But in order for these transformations to truly be smarter and more efficient, they require highly skilled planners to make it all happen. LinkedIn alone is reporting a 74% increase in demand for roles related to AI and ML. And according to the MHI report mentioned earlier, sourcing talent is the top challenge faced by supply chain leaders. In answer to this, there's an emerging approach to AI called automated machine learning or AutoML. AutoML will automate many of the steps involved in building a machine learning pipeline. This means that personnel without training as data scientists can build usable models for common forecasting tasks. McKinsey predicts that AutoML practitioners will be in twice as much demand as data scientists. This brings the reality to light that all of these advancements are to augment the human roles, not replace them. We will still need humans to maximize the benefits of AI and machine learning. Thank you for watching Vendop News. Again, my name is Jay Bartels. I'm the CEO of Vendop. At Vendop, we manage the performance of vendors and suppliers and save them millions of dollars per year. If you would like to join a panel discussion with other industry leaders, reach out to me via LinkedIn or email me at jay at vendop.com.